Sir, you can keep all chapters for exam, sir. Very people. Sir. If people are not able to write even if I am giving only few chapters, so you are asking all chapters. Hmm? What will you write, ma'am? Sir, what is the syllabus for term two examination? I tell, I tell, right. See. Only five chapters are given for PT2, na? That uh, second chapter, fifth chapter, seventh, eighth, ninth chapter. Very, 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 keep all chapters very few have written. Very few have written the answers correctly. Many have left. Uh, okay, by writing the question number simply without writing anything, they have left that uh, answer sheet. Hmm? I don't know why those guys have done like that and uh, some three guys they did not send the answer sheet even though i have in section c whatsapp group i have mentioned but still they are not bothered about that i can understand that because you are away from the school you are not feeling okay it correct or something uh, you are not liking it being away from the school but uh, teachers cannot do anything in that regard. Whatever the instructions that are given from the school authorities, we have to follow. And uh, for your condition, coming to your condition, whether it is online or offline, you are students. You have to learn the things. By forgetting that particular thing, if you are not uh, learning anything, if you are not writing anything in the exams, you will be only losing the thing. Forget about marks. What is your interest of writing some correct answer? I am hmm? not getting. Only five chapters are given for PT2. The response is very poor. Though I gave the notes for all the chapters. Have I not given the notes for all the chapters? Huh? Sir, you gave, sir. But even though I gave the notes for all the chapters, in PDF form I have sent, whether you have attended the classes or not, I am uploading the videos. Almost most of the videos are very clear. Huh? What is the problem in learning? If you can't learn at your home, what you are going to learn at uh, by coming after uh, to the school? And you are, some of you are asking now, give all the chapters. Five chapters you could not prepare. If I give all the chapters, 16 chapters, huh, what will you write? See the response to attend the class. Some days you attend full almost more than 60, 70 like that. Today you attended only 23 have attended. Hmm? Who all have attended Akul, Aryan, Alina, Aniket, Aniketan, Harsh, Rudvi, Kumar Mangalam, Nidhi, Nikhil, Nitin, Pallavi Roshan, Prathamesh, Pritham, Pritham N, Unneshlok, Ritvik, Samadh Kule, Srinivas, Sohan Samrat, Tanmay Varma, Varun. Only these students have attended the class. Today is a very important lesson, one with magnet. Okay, anyhow, let us first complete this lesson. I will post, I will post the syllabus for your term 2 exam in your respective class groups. Don't worry. Okay? In your respective class groups, so I will post the syllabus. I, can't, I will not give all the chapters. What? I want to ask something, sir. Ask. Sir, can we make the magnet? Can we make magnet? In our home, sir. Ah, you can make. But you can't make sir, permanent house, magnet. You can make only temporary magnet. It will lose its uh, power. Okay? 
Okay. The home is not made of magnet. Okay, first let me explain. Uh, let me explain this. Uh, first let me explain the basics of this chapter. Upon the soil. The voice is not clear. Those who are speaking. Sir, please tell sir, how to make it. Sir. <laughs> if I have to tell, first of all, I should start the chapter, na? You are not allowing sir, uh, to I teach me. You are straight away you going with doubt. Huh? You can see the magnet. You are straight away going with experimenting with magnet, how to make magnet and all. First of all, let me explain uh, what, uh, what is magnet, uh, what are its various uses, uh, where the magnets were discovered first, uh, uh, right? Uh, what are natural magnet, what is artificial magnet. When we come to learn what is artificial magnet, then you will be learning how to make artificial magnet. Uh, if you allow me to teach all these things, I will explain you hmm, how to make a magnet also. Sir, sir, I have one idea for uh, making a magnet. Sir. Yes, you can just share your idea in the form of video by making the magnet afterwards. First, let me teach you something related to this chapter. Okay. Right, uh, I will make an experiment and share the group or WhatsApp group, sir. Okay, do it. Thank you. I will start the class. Now I am muting you all. All right. One with magnet. This chapter explains you what is magnet and what are various uses of magnet, where were the magnets discovered for the first time, that is only assumptions, okay? and what a magnet contain in it, all the things we will learn, right? What is magnet? Magnet, they are the substances having the property of attracting certain specific metals like iron, nickel, cobalt, okay, gadolinium, etc. And magnets, they attract other magnets too. Magnets are the substances that are having the property of Attract, attracting certain specific metals like iron, nickel, cobalt, gadolinium, etc. And magnets can attract other magnets too. The substances that can attract 
certain specific metals like iron, nickel, cobalt, gadolinium, etc. And magnets can attract other magnets too. Right. Magnets, they are used in various ways and in various uh, uh, purposes. Like the first and foremost, the magnet that it is used is in magnetic compass to know the directions, to know the directions in an unknown place. Okay, we all know that there are four directions, north, south, east, west. When you are in a place where you can't find okay, the directions, when you are in a specific time where you can't find the directions. During the daytime when sunlight is falling, by just facing yourself towards the sun, okay, in the morning time you can find that uh, whatever the direction okay, to which you are facing the sun that is uh, east, the opposite is west and your right hand side is south, north, left hand side is north like that you can tell. But if you are unable to see the sun and you are in a place and you are in a time where you can't find the directions like that, then how to come to know the direction? It is by using magnetic compass. So in a magnetic compass, a thin slender magnet is placed on a free tip and a the magnet automatically it will be aligning itself towards north and south directions pole of the what globe so in that way we will be coming to know the directions very easily next magnets are used in the door latches when you are closing the door at the end of the door a magnetic piece will be kept and the other side a metal like iron nickel or cobalt is placed so as the door goes near to it, automatically it gets closed. Until unless you pull it out, it will not be coming out that easily. Right? In door bells also, magnet is used. In refrigerator doors, in TVs, dynamos, motors, loudspeakers, microphones, earphones, in computers, in the toys of the children. Okay? And in all these generators in some medical equipments what not in many places the magnets are used and especially in cranes also in cranes to lift some objects okay heavy and powerful magnets are used to lift some objects right so these are different pl places or purposes where we use the magnets okay Right? So, magnets are having these many uses. That's why we are learning about magnets. We don't learn about any particular thing if it has got no use or no harm. If a particular thing is more useful or it is uh, causing some harm to us, then only we will be coming to know what it is. Right? Like uh, a news that it is going to help in our day-to-day -day life, that it may cause some trouble in our life, we will be coming to know. So, we will learn in the science about a particular thing, whether it is, some, it is having some sort of use or some sort of harm to us, then we will be learning about it. Right? So, magnets are having various uses, so we are learning about the magnets. Why we have to learn about the magnets means because we have got many uses from the magnets. That's why we are learning about them. Right. Where the magnets were discovered for the first time? In ancient Greece, there was a shepherd known as Magnus. Okay. And shepherd means the person who will be safeguarding the herd of sheep or goat. Having a stick, okay, which is having a 
after the name of uh, that shepherd magnet because that shepherd name is magnet so that natural rock was given the term that natural magnet was given the term magnetite natural magnet given the term magnetite magnetite so this was given to that uh, natural magnet in the name of that shepherd and what this magnetite contains magnetite contains iron in it magnetite contains iron in it. iron in it okay so and it was also assumed that a magnetite was first discovered in a specific place known as magnesia and based on the name magnesia the name magnetite was given to it okay it was also assumed that magnetite was first discovered in a place known as magnesia So magnesia is the place where magnetite was first discovered, discovered for the first time. Right. So see what we have learnt now. What is magnet? Magnet is a substance that can attract certain specific metals like iron, nickel, cobalt, gadolinium, etc. And magnetites, sorry, magnets can attract other magnets also. And we have got many uses from magnets. They are like uh, magnets are used in magnetic compass and in door locks, door bells. They are used in refrigerators. They are used in televisions. They are used in dynamos, generators. They are used in lifting objects. They are used in generators. They are used in motors. And magnets were first discovered in ancient Greece, okay, by a shepherd known as Magnus. And it was an accidental discovery. The iron piece of his stick got attracted towards a natural magnetic rock. That natural magnet is known as magnetite. That is called magnetite based on his name. The shepherd name is Magnus. So the natural magnet is given the term magnetite. Magnus, magnetite. So this what this magnetite contains? Magnetite contains 
iron in it. And there was a place known as Magnesia where the magnetite was discovered for the first time. Okay. There are two types of magnets. There are two types of magnets. They are natural magnet and artificial magnets. There are two types of magnets. They are natural magnet and artificial magnet. What, the, what is a natural magnet? Natural magnets are the magnets that are found naturally in our nature. Means uh, we have not made them. Humans have not made them. If a magnet is having magnetic property naturally by its own nature, okay, in the nature itself, that is known as natural magnet. If a magnet is not made by man but is found naturally, that is known as a natural magnet. And what is artificial magnet? A magnet that is made from the pieces of iron or nickel or cobalt or gadolinium because all the metals that can be attracted by the magnets, they can be used to make artificial magnets. So artificial magnets, they were made from the pieces of iron or nickel or cobalt or gadolinium. Right. And since we can make artificial magnets with our, I mean on our own, artificial magnets can be made in different shapes based on the shape of the piece which you are using to prepare magnets, artificial magnets can be made in different shapes like bar magnet, ball ended magnet, cylindrical magnet, horseshoe magnet, etc. Right? So, there are two types of materials based on the magnetic property. They are magnetic material and non-magnetic materials. In the nature, all the materials with respect to the magnetism, they are of two types. They are magnetic materials and non-magnetic materials. Magnetic materials are the materials that can get attracted towards the magnets. Like what we have discussed, they attract some specific metals, iron, nickel, cobalt, gadolinium, and all these things are known as magnetic materials. What are magnetic materials? Magnetic materials are the substances which can get attracted towards the magnets like iron, nickel, cobalt, gadolinium, etc. Non-magnetic materials are the materials which do not get attracted towards the magnets, which do not get attracted towards the magnets like plastic, wood, human body, water, so many things are there which do not get attracted towards the magnet. These are known as non-magnetic materials. Can we make an artificial magnet using a non-magnetic material? Never. We cannot make an artificial magnet using a non-magnetic material. We can always make an artificial magnet using only a magnetic material. Okay. Right? Let us write all these things once again. There are two types of magnets. 
physical magnet. Helium physical magnet. Okay, fill in that. Next step. Ball and head magnet. Ball and head. Dumbbell shape. Ball and head are dumbbell shape. So these are different shapes of uh, artificial magnets and all the materials in our nature are of two types, okay, they are magnetic and non-magnetic materials. Magnetic materials, magnetic materials, get So this is about different types of uh, magnets. So there are two types of magnets, natural magnets and artificial magnets. Natural magnets are formed in the nature naturally magnetized. Artificial magnets are, they were made by humans using certain specific metals like uh, iron, nickel, etc. Artificial magnets can be made in different shapes like bar shape, cylindrical shape, ball ended shape, horse shoe shape, etc. And there are two types of materials in the nature, magnetic materials and non-magnetic materials. Magnetic materials, they get attracted towards magnets, iron, nickel, cobalt, all these things are magnetic materials. Non-magnetic materials, they do not get attracted towards magnets, right? In coming class, we will learn about powers of the magnets and other particular properties of magnets. How can we make an artificial magnet? Everything we can learn.